guys um this is week 37 excuse my appearance i just dragged my sorry butt out of bed um so i've got no makeup on i haven't even brushed this straw that's on my head um let's see what is the topic for today um okay for lots of us there is a point in our transition when we start to present ourselves as our true selves full-time in our day-to-day -day lives how did does it feel oh okay um how does it feel how does it feel i've been i've been um living this sex for um over over 20 years and um how does it feel it is fucking unreal absolutely unreal still to this day when i walk down the street and the only people that look at me are guys because i'm five foot ten thin big boob long blonde hair you know and i know why they're looking at me they're not looking at me like oh there's a queen you know they're looking at me like oh she's hot you know and um i get sort of snarls from these little ugly troll women so um but not to have that oh she's a tranny sort of thing which hasn't happened for years and years and years um is unbelievable simply unbelievable um i guess that started happening i started transitioning when i was about 16 so i guess that started happening i started passing when i was about 19. it took me a few years to get it together um i guess I probably before that I started passing straight away but um, to the point where I could I could just go out of the house looking like this and nobody would give me a second look no makeup not even my, my hairbrush nothing you know um, it's pretty amazing just to go to the shop throw, throw my hair in the ponytail and just go to the shop um, where from 16 until 19 to 20 it took makeup it took like work before I went out of the house for the first couple of years and um but to get to this point in my life where it's just a non-issue um it's still i find myself you know it still spins me out a little bit it's still just i mean i don't even think from day to day that i'm that i'm trans but to every now and then it does dawn upon me that i am and no one knows and no one knows and to be i guess that successful at what i've done is just unbelievable words cannot describe it um and i think it's in everyone's grip i've been speaking to a couple of people that oh, i'll never be good as you or oh, i'll never pass da 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 um you can everyone can everyone can you can you can look like a big ugly man and transition these days you know and become a supermodel you know there really is the surgery out there you know and the lasers and the hormones and the implants I mean you know anyone can become anyone these days um, there's no excuse I mean when I was younger we didn't have the advances not at all we didn't I've, ne I've never heard of facial feminization until the until about eight years ago you know where they did everything at once I would go and have like my nose done my lips done my cheeks put in I had some surgery but I, I would get one thing at a time and I would be in hospital for a week you know and so um, none of that existed that's why I guess it took from 16 until almost 20 to be completely passable because you couldn't just run over to Thailand or to um, America I'm in Australia, America, and get everything done at the same time, come back and pass as a woman. You just couldn't do it. You had to get one thing done at a time. They could only do one thing at a time. And just cheek implants. I was in hospital for a week. These days they, they put them in while you're awake. They just numb the area and put them in while you're awake. Um, it's incredible. You know, my, my I've had four, four breast augmentations and... Um, now they I want I, I, I want them done again because I want them picked up um, <laughs> a little lift you know and um, 
again, back in back in 20 years ago, I used to be hospital for a week. So there's no way they would do like four or five procedures on you. They would do one and you'd be in there for a week. These days you can get, you know, like 10 procedures done and you can go in there looking like a big man and um, come out looking like a supermodel. So uh, I guess that's why it took me a long time. But once I got there, the feeling is amazing. It is amazing just to be able to go anywhere and not have to think about it. Just not have that in, in, in the back of your mind. And I think um, everyone out there, everyone out there, whether you pass or not, um, especially people who, who aren't passing and who has that sort of going on in their head, just give it time. It just takes time. Keep on the tea, keep on the hormones, just do what you can afford to do surgically um, if needed. If you, you know, I w I'm, I'm totally against cosmetic surgery, but if you need to have it done, if it's, if it's going to help you pass, by all means, there's, there's, um, people out there that will do it. It's all come, it's all comes down to this, you know, it's all money. That's, that's, that's most people's problems these days. But, um, passing is amazing and pre passing was dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. I wore the biggest sunglasses, wore very ambiguous, not far from feminine clothes, just jeans and t-shirts and things like that. Um, had long, I, I the first thing I do was, was grow my hair long. And I think, I don't think people knew what I was and it was like that for years until I was able to mold myself into how I wanted, which, which took many, many years. Yeah. So how does it feel? Fucking awesome. Okay guys, I shall see you next week. Take care and, um, play safe. Bye.